Welcome back to another badass video from Network Engineer Academy. And by the way, this is video number three. So if you haven't watched video number one and video number two, make sure you go back and watch those videos because this video, it's not gonna make, make sense to you because I'm walking you through this process in order, okay? Now, in the previous video, we went and these computers and we statically put the IP settings for these computers to communicate with each other. So, so far, so good, but what happened? The CEO came in and it was like, hey, you know, Jorge, I do not want these computers to have any communication with that computer on top. And that's a few ways for us to accomplish that, but we decided to do, you know, VLANs, and that's exactly the process that I'm gonna walk you through. Now, once again, I'm not gonna go in really detail what a VLAN is, but I'm gonna show you so it can make more sense to you. But what you need to think about VLANs is this, okay. When, once you plot, you know, five computers, 20 computers, and one switch, that switch by default has VLAN one, okay, by default. All of those computers belong to VLAN 1. And that's the reason why they're able to communicate because they all belong on one VLAN. But once you create, okay, a new VLAN on the switch and after you put some of the port on the switch to the VLAN that you created, I mean, now that's gonna be some issues because now you have like two networks. And that's exactly what that is, a VLAN, okay? Each VLAN, it's their own network their own subnet, their own segment, their own uh, broadcast domain, okay? So have that in mind, write it down, okay? So now let's log into the CLI, the command line interface of these two layer two switches. And that's the model right there, okay? The 2960s, okay? So let me log into one and let me walk you through that process and um, creating um, two VLANs because that's another thing, you know? For security purposes, and I can talk a, a lot about that, they, you know, and companies, they don't put all the PCs on just VLAN 1, okay? They take, you know, those ports and they put the ports in some other VLANs that they created, okay? Because everyone knows that once you take the switch out of the box, I mean, VLAN 1, it's already there, okay? And it's the native VLAN, but that's for another video. So, let me walk you through this process. So I'm gonna log in on this switch. So I'm just gonna click, and then I'm gonna go to the CLI, the command line interface, and right there, okay? And right here, you know, it, it tells me the version, okay, of the switch. And right now we have version 12.x, and also we have 15, version 15, right now, 2017, okay? So just, and uh, uh, more info. And this is a model of the switch, by the way. Anyway, so let me click a start, I mean, enter a few times. And this is what we call the user mode. And that's a few things that you can do, well, not that much, and the user mode, but if you do enable, bam, that's gonna take you to privilege mode. Now, you can do more things. Well, not like do, it's more like see what the switch has, you know, how it's configured and everything. But the one that's gonna make some damage is this one. Config T or, you know, config terminal. Enter, and then you are in global configuration mode. And that's bam, where you can do anything on this switch, okay? So it's not that difficult once you get it for those of you that are completely new to this, okay? So let me do those one thing first. Let me change the name, okay? Something really simple. And as you can see right here, this is a switch that I'm logging into, okay? And the name that I put in was L2 because layer two, switch, and the number two. So let me do that. So right now I'm on global configuration mode and what I'm gonna do is host, name, a space, and now the name. And that's L2, SW2. Enter and as you can see, the name changed, okay? Now let's start creating those VLANs. So what VLAN, I mean, what number of VLANs, right? Let's uh, um, come up with a number. And because this is my lab, I'm gonna do 10 and 20. So let's create VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. And VLAN 10, that's gonna be for the IT engineers, us, and VLAN 20 for the HR department. So let me do that, okay? So for you to create a VLAN, but first let me show you this, okay? I'm gonna uh, do this. Do show 
VLAN, enter. And as you can see right here, okay, the VLANs, they are already on the switch. And I told you, you know, by default, VLAN 1. And we have a few extra ones right here, but don't, just don't care about, you know, this. You know, I've been in IT for many years and I never deal with any of this. But, you know, one thing that you need to notice, all of the ports on this switch belong to VLAN 1. And that's not good, okay? Okay, so now let's go and create some VLAN. So VLAN 10, and that's it. That's the only thing you have to do, enter. And you see now it changed from global configuration mode to global configuration VLAN mode. And at that point, I'm gonna put a name. And we said, if I remember correctly, that for VLAN, yeah, VLAN 10, that will be IT engineers, engineers, okay? Now, I can, I mean, I can do it from here, or I can just type exit, so I'm gonna do exit, and I'm gonna create that VLAN 20. VLAN 20, name, and this one is HR depart department, okay? So that's it, so I'm gonna do the same command that I did before, do show VLAN, okay? Enter, and bam! We have two new VLANs, okay? VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, but you can probably see right now that we have not any ports on those VLANs. So right now all the computers are still able to communicate. Okay, we need to move those ports where the computers are connected to, to the VLAN that we want, okay? And we want these two computers to be on VLAN 10. The computer 20 over here, or this computer to be on VLAN 20, okay? But so far, so good. And this is, I mean, we have only two switches. So we can go to the other switch, and once again, we need to create those VLANs. But let's say we have 10 switches, 20, 40, 50 switches, you know? Some companies use it, some companies don't, but that's a, a feature that's VLAN trunking protocol, where, you know, you can set up a few, one or few switches to be servers, okay? And basically, you create, okay, the VLANs and those switches, and then what's gonna happen? It's gonna send an update or propagate to the other switches that are clients to get that update. So that way you don't have to go to the 20, 40, 50 switches to create, you know, the VLANs on each switch. But we only have two, a small network, so we're not gonna go through that process because that's probably another one, another uh, video or two, okay? So right now, I'm good right here. And let me do something because this is something that I always forget when I'm teaching my coaching class, and it's uh, saving my configuration. So I'm gonna do do WR. Because right now everything is running on the RAM memory, and if for whatever reason that switch, you know, uh, go, goes off, I mean everything is gonna get lost, everything that we have so far. And I know we haven't done too many things, but anyways. So now let me go to this PC, okay? So I'm gonna go to that, P I mean, switch, the second switch, and I'm gonna do the same, so I'm gonna go a little bit faster, okay, enable, and from here, I'm gonna do this, show VLAN, and you see that I do not have any of those two VLANs, right? I only have the default VLANs. So let's do that, let's go to global configuration mode, and I'm gonna do VLAN 10, and then the name, and the name it's gonna be IT engineers, and then I'm gonna do from here, I don't have to exit out, VLAN 20, enter, name, and that's gonna be, I forgot, oh, HR department, De always department. I think that's the right way. If not, that's fine. Anyway, so HR department, there we go, okay? Um, so now, I'm gonna exit out, and then I'm gonna do, do show VLAN just to make sure, yes, they are there, okay? So, ten, 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 ten. so, so far, once again, we just created two VLANs, that's it, that's all we did, okay? And I don't wanna make this video too long, so what I'm gonna do on the next video, and that's gonna be video number four, okay, video number four, I'm gonna walk you through on how, okay, and how to move these PCs or the port where the PC is connected to, to their proper VLAN. We're gonna do some testing as well, so you can see the difference, okay? And something is gonna happen, and you have to think about, okay, why it's not happening? You know, why they're not able to communicate, you, okay? And probably, I know some of you, you will get it right away, but some of you probably that are new, you're gonna be thinking, okay, what's going on? 
But if you Google it right away, oh man, you're gonna find the answer. So it's gonna be fun, okay? So I'm gonna uh, talk to you on video number four.